Hey guys, it's RMS here. Um, I'm, I'm at the Indy, I actually went this time to the Indy Scare Park, so usually I, I don't actually go to the places I say I'm going to. <laughs> but um, I'm not gonna record in there because we'll probably get in trouble. So yeah, we're gonna go into one of these scary things. Um, yes, yes, okay, we definitely have to go to the clown one. Just because you got scared, you gotta, gotta go to that one. Just because you got scared. And I know you don't like clowns, so. You should watch it with us then. You'd love it. You'd love that movie. There's, wait, there's no one over here though. Can we go in? I thought you went inside, okay. All right, I'm gonna have to stop because we can't record once we're in there and I don't want Hey guys, <clears throat> RMS here, and uh, we're back, well I'm back, um, from uh, Indie Horror Nights, or Indie, what is it, not Indie Horror Nights, it's um, Indie uh, Scare Park, it was really fun, um, I didn't get home until like, I want to say like 4, 30 or so, maybe, I don't know, I go to sleep till like 5 or something, but anyway, so it's about, it's 2.44 in the afternoon, yeah, I'm still a little tired. <laughs> um, it was really fun though. It was really cool. It was a cool, definitely a, a thing to uh, if you're in Indiana, uh, if you're visiting Indianapolis or something, or for whatever reason you're in the area during the month of October. It's definitely something you should check out. It's pretty cool. Yeah, I had a had a really good time. Um, so I couldn't show any footage inside the haunts because you know there's no cameras or anything allowed. Or any flashlights or anything. I didn't want to get caught, kicked out or something. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm still still kind of tired. So yeah, I decided um, I was going to make this video while I still have it kind of fresh in my mind in the morning, in the morning, and the afternoon. So I just, I woke up at like one, um, about, was about an hour ago, about one forty-five or so. So, um, I gotta say my favorite one was probably Rage. I gotta say Rage was my favorite one out of all of them. It was just really cool. Like it was just it was fun. It was really fun. It was really cool. It's like uh they had like they're playing like a lot of like dubstep in the in the opening and we were all kind of just, you know, grooving, just jamming out while we were waiting in line. And that's always that's always good when you can er be entertained while you're in line because we were all the lines that we were in, except for the first one, all the lines we were in took about roughly 45 minutes to like an hour and a half I think it was the longest one we waited about an hour and a half I think something like that and that was the uh the woods the dark woods or whatever um yeah that one was long long wait but yeah so rage was probably my favorite one just because I had fun while I was in line and then when you're going through it it's not like it's scary it really is like because it's like um there's like a lot of str it's like stroby and you have these 3D glasses on, which is really cool because everything looks like, you know, like it's coming at you kind of thing. Like, it looks it looks cool. It was, like, different. I really wish I could show you guys some footage of inside there, but I couldn't film at all. But, um, it was cool. Like, there's, uh, there's one of those spinning bridges where, you know, it kind of, like, it makes you feel like you're, like, oh, shit, like, I'm, I'm going upside down kind of thing. But it's, like, uh, it's, like, one of those tunnel, tunnel vision things. And, uh, so you're walking down there, but it's, like, stroby, too. And so you're like, ah, I got going upside down. Like the strobingness, the strobes, that really like, really made me feel like I was like, ah, it was really cool though. I liked it. And uh, like the whole, there's a lot of parts where it's just, most of it's just stroby. And so uh, there's like, you know, of course there's people in there dressed as clowns. So if you're afraid of clowns, maybe don't, like I'd say go because it's not that scary really. Like it's not, like it is if you're afraid of clowns, I guess it'd be a little scary. Because uh, one of uh, one of my friends I went with, um, I will put a uh, once they give me a link to their channel, I will put a link in the description below. Um, it's pretty cool though. Like I liked going because it was really cool to see everything. And um, so yeah. So anyway, so the rage is probably my favorite, but the that's not the first. That's the last one we went to. So I talked about the uh, the first one since I didn't really get to talk about it too much outside the. Uh, it was the. Uh, Asylum? Yeah, the Asylum. It was the first one we went to. And uh, that one was pretty cool. 
Like we, uh, that was the shortest line, so of course we went to that one first because it's pretty short, and uh, that was supposed to be the scariest one, which to me definitely was not the uh, scariest one. Um, so you go in there, and um, like you notice like crazy people being worked on and all that kind of is like kind of gruesome kind of kind of deal. It's really cool though, like uh, you know, there's like people are like, ah, oh, I mean, I'm in the mental asylum, help me, help me, kind of thing, and you're like. Nah, I don't want to help you. No, thank you. I'll still leave you, leave you there. It's okay. But anyway, so you just walk through it, and um, you know, of course, there are uh, people going, "Oh, you're crazy. You must come with us," kind of thing. And they're like, "I don't want to go with you." No. And uh, so yeah, so it's pretty cool. I liked it. Um, it kind of reminded me of the one I went to last year in uh, here in Peru. Uh, the uh, I can't remember what it's called now. It was uh, Dr. Spaulding's or something like that. Or some Dr. something. I don't remember what it was. I mean, it was kind of like that because that's what that whole thing was based on was in the sand style. So it's kind of like, to me, it was really it was very, very similar to that. And so it felt like it was different. Though. Like they, they had a lot more, you know, uh, budget to work with kind of thing. So it was really cool, though. Like, I really do, I do like the one in Peru. I do plan going uh, again this year. Um... Yeah, I believe I am going to go. I mean, it's not like, it's like seven, eight bucks, something like that. It's pretty cheap. So I'm definitely going to go see that at least once before October ends. Um, so, uh, so anyway, so the asylum was really cool. I did like it. That was probably, mm, I want to say, I mean, they're all really good. Um, let's see if I had to pick and pick that one. I think that would be. Hmm. Maybe my th like my third favorite, I think. Maybe about my third, number three, of my favorites. Okay, so after that, you went to the uh, went to the uh, the prison, um, and that one we actually went to twice because you can be in do an interactive thing where you wear this lamp this uh, glow stick like necklace, which kind of kind of sucks they didn't let us keep it. They uh, they took it back at the end of the night because I, I wanted to keep it. Like, I tried to walk away with it. Like, no, 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 no. You give give it give here. Give here. I was like, no, I want, it. I want the necklace. But, um, but yeah. <clears throat> so we went through there twice. We went there, um, you know, sec uh, the second thing we did was that. And then we walked through again at the end of the night after Rage. Um, so, okay, so our first, first time going through... Um, was you know we didn't really want to get separated kind of thing because if you were it's interactive, and they can take you and throw you in cells and you know they can like physically touch you, you know and of course you can't like touch like really touch them you can't be like bam like knock you out, no um but like they can like throw you in jail cells and stuff like that, okay so the first time we go through, um we're like they're like really really creepy, because they like get up in your face they're like mm, how you doing. Like they, li <laughs> uh, they, they literally were just like, I gotta say, like, like Destiny was being like pick, like targeted that whole freaking night. She's being targeted every single one we went to. There's always a dude sniffing her. I don't know why. There's a dude sniffing her, and I, I was like, I was hilarious. But, uh, kind of, it was funny. <laughs> it was pretty funny. I kind of felt like, what the hell's going on, too, but, and, um, for some reason, everyone kept saying, uh, like, all the, like, yeah, they kept being like, hey, you're pretty, or you're hot, or I'm gonna make you my bitch, <laughs> like, it wasn't just the prison one they said that to me to in, and I'm kind of like, uh, <laughs> what, <laughs> okay, but, uh, okay, to be fair, um, after... After the wood, so what was, what was I talking about? Okay, so yeah, so um, I was wearing this. Uh, second time around, I was wearing this hat. There's um, this this girl's hat, um, cat's hat. Uh, it's also uh, it's her and Destiny's channel. So um, yeah, they're both in it. Anyway, the same, same song. Anyway, yeah, so I was wearing this like really girly like hat, um, beanie type type deal. It's like a a knitted beanie. Cause my ears were freezing, 
And Kat didn't want to wear it anymore because it's like, like, ah, kind of thing. But my ears were freezing, so she let me use it. So I was wearing that, to be fair. So I was wearing really girly hats. <laughs> like, after the wood, like, yeah, after, once we went to the zombie apocalypse, and then we went through Rage, I had it on. And then I went to the uh, prison again, and I had it on. So yeah, so they're, they're kind of picking on me because of the hat. But my ears were cold, so I don't really care. I was like, my ears are cold. Okay, yeah. They don't know. But anyway, so the first time we went in, it was cool. We went in and they were like, um, you know, getting really close to our face and, and going like, oh, you're hot. You're a pretty boy. I'm like, thank you. Thanks. Uh, uh. And then they're like, I'm going to take you with me and make you my bitch. And I'm like, no. I don't know if they used the word bitch. could have sworn I heard, the, heard that. But like, I'm 20, so I don't really care if that's what they said. But I think it is. Yeah, I just heard, I heard like, I'm going to take you and make you mine. And then I, I don't know if I heard bitch or not. But anyway, weird. As that, like I said, it didn't happen. It happened in all of them, like, pretty much. Except for the, uh, except for Zombie Apocalypse. It was the only one that no one's like, you're pretty. Which was weird. Weird. Freaking weird. Anywho. Anywho. Uh, so, yeah, prison. So, we went in there. Uh, where we were walking through. And of course, uh, the guys were dressed as like uh, prisoners, and the guards were like non-existent kind of thing. And so um, there was like one guard, and he was like, you know, of course, joining. He wasn't really a guard. He was like joining them. He's actually like a prisoner dressed as a guard or whatever. Okay, so the second time we go into, I'm gonna say this a little fast. Sorry about that. Um, second time we go into is the second time we went. We were interactive, so we had the necklaces. So they actually were grabbing us and getting even closer to our faces, and um, they they were grabbing at me. And like, oh, no, no, you're not going in here, kind of thing. And they ended up making me and Caitlin go into this corner. And I kind of like ran into this wall. I was like, oh, that's a wall. <laughs> I'm turned back around because I had to close this door. So they put someone in this room, one of the people that was wearing the necklace, the glow and dark necklace. Um, and we went through and we got to the jail, where the jail cells are. And uh, they, took, uh, they took Caitlin and threw her in there in one of the cells. And they put her, like, on this bed thing, and they're, like, telling her st stuff or whatever. I couldn't really hear what they were saying. And um, they, they looked at me, and they threw me in a cell, and they, like, left me there for, like, a long freaking time. Like, at the point where I was just, like, standing there with my hands outside the bar. I was just going, hey, guys, what you doing? And they let uh, Caitlin go by, and then Destiny and Cat came by. And they took uh, Cat and Destiny and threw, threw him inside that same cell that Caitlin had just um, been out of. And they were telling them whatever. And uh, Destiny was kind of waiting for us, so, um, so she was waiting for like them to release me and Cat, and um, they got her again, and they had like this dude, like I was kind of I was kind of worried because he was like so freaking close to her kind of thing, and I was kind of like, um, I don't know if you're supposed to be that close to people, but he like had her pinned to the wall. I know it was just part. Of so yeah, he had her pinned. And he was just like, ah, and he was like sniffing on her and stuff. I guess it was, that was freaking creepy. Uh, so, um, then they, they let Cat go and they both went and they were all waiting at the end, at the exit. The exit was like right there, uh, which I didn't really realize, but it was like right out of that room is the exit. And so, uh, one guy walked by, like a bunch of the act, the actors walked by, you know, messed with me a little bit going, hey, hey, sexy. And I'm like, thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. No, um, and he comes to me, and I was like, um, he's like, was the dude with red hair, was the, big, was like, the big guy, I was like, yeah, it was the big guy, threw me in here, and, um, so he, so he, um, closed the cell, and got, like, really freaking close to my face, I was like, dude, too close, too close, and he's like, um, he asked the same question, he asked Destiny, he's like, I'm thinking of a number, and if you can guess it, you can go. And uh, she said it was, she like went, ah, seven, and he let her go. So I was like, seven, the answer's seven. I was like, right, yeah. And he's like, he just opened the gate and let me go. And we finally got out of there, and then we went home. Then we went to IHOP. Um, anyway, so after that, it went to the Dark Woods, which to me was the creepiest one out of all of them. Like, if anyone was actually kind of creepy, it would be that one, because it's pitch black from the most, most of it, it's like you can't see anything. It's dark. And, uh, you know, there's people running around, like, going, hey, how's it going? And, uh, there was a guy like, hey, hey, pretty, or something like that. And he came at me, he's like, remember me? And I'm like, 
no, I don't remember you, but okay. There's that. And then there's a guy, there's some guys with chainsaws going, vroom, 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 run, run. And we're like, we can't run. We were told not to. Oh, <laughs> some people were getting freaked out. It was funny though. So like, it was, it was good. That one was like, said the creepiest one, which at first we weren't going to go. Like we were waiting in line for, I think like 20 minutes. And some guy came out saying, oh, that wasn't worth it. Blah, 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 blah. But, um, he was stupid. It was worth it. That one's like, we paid money. So we want to see all of them, which we did luckily. And we, we got to do basically everything we wanted to do. We got to do, which is really cool. Um, uh, yeah. So we went through there and it was really creepy. It was like, uh, we walked through, um, this is like part where there's like dead animals hanging everywhere. And so like, they're going on your face stuff you're like, ah, dead animals. But the, of course they're not really dead, dead animals. They're like, it's fake fur. I could tell by the way it felt as fake fur. Um, Anyway, so then from there we went down and we ate, and there was a DJ throughout the whole night. There was a DJ just like DJing music. None of it was Halloween until like later that night. They finally played some Halloween songs. We had like uh, Ghostbusters was like the only Halloween song they played, but they were playing like you know, like turn down for what? And we're like, yeah, turn down for what? And um, we we're um, they were playing like all sorts of you know just music. Uh, it was all like dance music. So people were dancing. There was a guy. The DJ was like, "Oh, I'm Instagram, blah blah blah. Follow me." And I was like, "Nah, I'm not doing not getting in there." And so we didn't really we didn't go on the dance floor and dance or anything. We were just like, you know, just grooving. And I uh, got some funnel cake as um as you guys will see. Um, yes. Okay. I got my yes. Yes, I finally got my funnel cake. No, because I went to another place and I never got my funnel cake because we ended up leaving. And so, this is the thing. So you're taking a picture of proof that you ate a No, this is for, I'm, I'm videoing taping this. But, so, apparently, in the uh, Scream Park is also a party, a party zone. So, there's people dancing everywhere. So you can be scared. And you can dance at the same time. <laughs> that's good. Like good place. See when you're like, <laughs> that's what you do. That's scared. <laughs> oh wait, yeah. Happy birthday to Jesse or Avalanche Bailey. Happy birthday. He's uh, I don't know if you guys remember him. He's my uncle. So happy birthday to you, man. Uh, can't hang out with you your birthday this year because I'm not in California, obviously. But yeah, happy birthday. Yeah, look, there's uh, Jeepers Creepers over there. You were just like, I just really want it. And I don't think that he cares. I don't care. I told you you could. Hello. Alright, so do I have all my October birthdays? It feels like skin, and that makes any difference. Okay. That's a lot of October birthdays. For some reason, everywhere we go, everywhere we go, people have to smell destiny for some reason. She has this scent that people just like, I guess. They're just, and apparently, um, I'm man pretty. People, people want to, apparently people want to take me and do bad things to me. So, there's that. Anyway, so I will discuss more of my uh, events, adventure in the uh, the prison. Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Oh, yeah. I can't hear you. Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Happy birthday! I don't know who. All right, uh, we'll be back probably later tonight. I don't think I'll be filming any more videos. <laughs> but where's Cat? He's in line. All right, so see you guys. Be back. So uh, there's also uh, characters walking around like Mike Mars and Jace Voorhees and uh, Jeepers Creepers. Jeepers Creepers was like obsessed with our table. Kept coming over and going. But he was a cool guy. He was actually pretty cool. We were joking around with him a little bit. It was pretty cool. Um, and, you know, Jason and uh, and Michael, 
uh, Myers. Oh, and there's Freddy Krueger too. He had like the latex mask instead of the like full mask. He had uh, actually like latex to his skin, which is pretty cool. Um, they're like in the Instagram going, they're getting turned down for what kind of thing. It was pretty cool. I liked it. Um, then we went to the Zombie Apocalypse, which to me was not was like the it was cool. Like the setup was cool. It was really like awesome looking because it's in the junkyard and the whole setup was awesome. I really enjoyed the setup. Like the set was just it was a really cool set. I it, that was probably the worst one though for me. That was yeah out of all of them that would have been the worst one. It wasn't bad necessarily. It just wasn't. It definitely wasn't scary in my opinion. I think it was cool. I, I think it would have been better if they had more zombies. Like there wasn't really. It was more people like saying mm, we're gonna feed you to the zombies, and there was end up only being like I think like four, I think maybe six six zombies, and and like throughout the whole thing it was only about six people who were actually dressed as zombies. And it would have been cooler if they had a lot more. Um, um, some people got you know jump scared by this. There's a chainsaw guy at the end, and uh, and he popped out, and um, yeah. And he, he didn't really pop out for us. He kind of just went, rrr, 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 and he's like, pick boo. And we're like, oh, that's not scary. And uh, yeah, so that was probably the worst one. It wasn't bad. Like I said, the set is really cool to see. Like I just went, I, I would just go there again just for the set. The set looks cool. I didn't really, and I don't know. I, I enjoyed it. I just, it wasn't that scary. I went to IHOP and I had some crepes and some, you know, eggs and hash browns and bacon. Mmm, bacon. Bacon. No, now I'm here. Yep. That was uh, Indie Scare Nights. It was really, or Scare Park. It was really good. Definitely worth checking out. It's only 30 bucks, which is kind of, it's not really, like for me, that's that's about the right price for a haunted house. But something like that big, like that's really good pricing, I think. Just because there's so much. Um, there's a paintball, zombie paintball thing. Looked kind of stupid. It was only, I should never go to prison. Because, man, pretty. I get myself in some trouble. As always, this is RMS. And uh, have yourself a very happy Halloween.